Good afternoon, I'm Febin Kassoon from 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in just two minutes. In less than a week, visitors will be allowed back inside the Buffalo Naval and Military Park for the first time since the USS the Sullivans began to sink in mid-April. The park will reopen for Memorial Day weekend this Saturday. It will open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and you can visit the USS Little Rock and USS Croker as well as the museum. The USS the Sullivans is still closed as crews continue their preservation work. And Tim Hortons has released the Buffalo Community Donut. It has white icing and blue sprinkles. And you can get one for $2 starting tomorrow through the end of the month. 100% of the purchase price will go to the Buffalo 514 Survivors Fund. And some Bills fans are showing their support all the way from Cleveland. The Bills backers group there is collecting money and groceries for Buffalo's east side. Last week, one of their members drove to Buffalo with 419 pounds of food donated out of his pocket. This past weekend, the group came back with more. The group's co-president says even though they don't live in Buffalo anymore, it's still home to them. Now let's check in with meteorologist Michelle McLeod. Well, we have seasonable day today, making for a pleasant night tonight. Partly cloudy skies, temps in the 50s. You're going into your Wednesday. Temps are near 80. 80s on Thursday with some showers in there. Friday, you are seeing some showers. Saturday, some of those land in the morning. And on Sunday, look what happened. Those temps are in the 80s. In fact, let me open up Sunday for you. Actually, we'll just go to Thursday because I want to give you a play by play of what to look like in the precipitation department. So you're seeing some of those showers Thursday, Friday showers, Saturday in the morning. Look what happens. They dissipate on Sunday. And so for your Buffalo Marathon, this is what your forecast is looking like. Seasonable with those temps in the 70s by noon, 80s for the rest of the day, 80s on Memorial Day.